Hey guys, and welcome to a new show. So today we're going to be checking out Interview with the Vampire Season 1, Episode 1. And I'm so excited to jump into this because I was aware of this show last year when it came out. I unfortunately didn't have time to watch it then, but I was very excited about it because I saw on Rotten Tomatoes that it had like a 100% rating for Season 1 and I was like, oh, what? That's insane. Let me check that show out. So finally, here we are. I have the time. I'm very, very excited to check out this show and to see what it's all about. So I know that this was based on a book and I know there was a movie of it as well back in the 90s, I believe. I think it was with Brad Pitt, but I've never seen that never read the book so i don't know anything about the story i mean i'm assuming there's gonna be someone who interviews a vampire does the person who's interviewing know that the other is a vampire or is the vampire just famous for other reasons like i have no idea but i'm very curious to see what this show is going to be about but before we get into the episode i want to let you guys know that i have a patreon where you're actually able to watch the full unedited reaction to this episode to a bunch of other shows so if that's something you would find interesting the link to that is going to be in the description down below and without further ado let's just jump straight into it whoa i love the title it looks really really cool is it like showing okay in throes of increasing wonder i am very wondrous it's not a complicated job other than how it'll mess with your life Oh, News. okay. So maybe he's the one who's going to interview the vampire? You still want this job? It's your money. I'm Daniel Malloy. But yeah, what I was going to say at the beginning, like the title sequence, the way it looked, does it show like the two, you know, worlds? Like the world of the vampire and the world of the humans? Also, this man has a scar on his neck. Has he been bitten by a vampire before? Uh-huh. Oh god, I cannot read that. I Louis call you de back. Pond de Luca? <laughs> Okay, so he has a daughter. 73. Interesting. I really hope I wasn't supposed to watch the movie before this. You weren't always a vampire, were you? No. I was a 33 year old man when I became a vampire. Oh, so he knows about vampires. He doesn't look shocked at all. I hope this letter finds you safe and thriving. If such a thing were a possibility in this bleak hour. Oh my god. Following your career with some interest since our last meeting. Please allow so he did interview him, right? To revisit the project, boyish youth prevented us from finishing. Oh shit, I'm so excited. And my life story. All affinities. Damn. Louis de Pont du Lac. I told my editor Wait, that I was- I was kind of close with his name. We've grown old, Daniel. Mortality beats a heavy drum. Oh, he looks so nervous. Your book makes no mention of our prior meeting. Yeah, I don't think people would have believed him, right? You've had some health concerns of late. Whole planet's having a moment, I'd say. You have Parkinson's disease, Daniel. Oh, that's why he's nervous. He's just sick. That's the sun out there. Where's your coffin? Bruce? You're standing in it. <gasps> what an answer. Holy shit. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, well, things didn't end well the last time. So what? forgive me if I'm a little nervous. He was bitten. I knew it. No. Hey, stop. No. <gasps> oh, shit. Hey. I was high. You were not worthy of my story then. But he is now? Maybe your story wasn't worth telling. It's a bold thing to say to a vampire. Mr. Dulac. How long have you been dead? <laughs> this is going to be so fun. Oh, we get a flashback to how he was turned. The year was 1910. The oh, so isn't that old yet? The only place in New Orleans a gentleman of my complexion could do a righteous business was a neighborhood called Storyville. That was the old red light district, yeah? 20 blocks, I managed and operated a diversified portfolio of enterprises. You were a pimp. The product was designed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn, Doris, you're gonna lose your good leg running out like that. Mr. Dulac, sir, we got bad trouble. What's up? I apologize. I was only trying to show you my love. Fuck you. Mm, apology not accepted. Gave him a chance to pull out, he kept on fucking. So I gave him a little squirt of my catfish dinner for going there. Oh, Don't believe me? You? Why did the blood 
skirt out like that. You said yes if you just asked, but I don't care who he is. You put a dick in an asshole without asking. That's against Jesus. Fuck you. <laughs> what y'all laughing at? Um, at what she just said. Oh, Miss Williams. Isn't she a vision? I ain't cleaning his dick. Oh, Jesus, Mary. The Lord told me to come, Louis. In my head, like a family of birds, many voices, but also one voice. Bring it a second time. Oh, honey, let's get you some mental health therapy. Can't have it with your food. <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God, he has a sword. Did I want to pull a knife on my brother? Probably no. not. You couldn't look weak on liberty. You never knew who was watching. Um, is that a vampire? He's gonna make your daughter jump a broom. I'm sitting right here. Plenty of brooms down the street at the Mayfair Sisters home. <laughs> He's calling me a witch, mama. <laughs> Baldy Pontrelati, you walk that back. He was no burden. Point of fact, I loved him more than anyone on earth. And our daily stroll to St. Augustine was the measure of a good day started. Oh, that's so sweet. Something bad gonna happen to the brother? I haven't seen you in confession of late, Louis. You know, you can always come here if you're in need some. Except when you're a vampire, because I don't think you'll be able to enter the church anymore. Miss Lily. Bonsoir, monsieur. Oh, it's him. How'd you manage to get yourself through the front door? Excuse me? I mean that as a compliment, a man of your race to have privileges here. Thanks for the compliment. Where was I? On a boat. <laughs> So I'm out on the Crescent Coast, floating past your village. Does it have like a magical kiss or something? What's been your favorite this year, Mr. Lian Ku? A favorite? Mm. Mm, she puts <laughs> a pistol to my head. Excuse me, sir, you're in public. My body was seized with weakness. His gaze tied a string around my lungs. Oh, shit. Immobilized. So he does have some powers, right? It was not until a few nights later. Quand je regarde un homme sorti un couteau de sa cave <gasps> et presser la lame sur le stomach de son frère. What, did they get him horny or something? Let's start, unpack your trunks, you're home. <laughs> 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 Only it turns out the saint is not a city, but a handsome man with a most agreeable disposition. Oh shit, is he by? The gentleman is swapping on these sausage recipes, Miss Carey. Mm. That's so funny, I love that. What a classy way to say they're having a dick measuring contest. The Orient Room is here, Monsieur. Wonderful to meet you. I do hope I run into you again, do we? Yeah, I'm sure you will. I had come there for Lily, but I left thinking of only him. Ooh. Um, how did that happen? I was trying to find out what kind of powers vampires have in this universe. Do they have like compulsion and maybe something else as well? The ability to just set fire or something? Like what is this? Jesus Christ! That scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. It was so much shot as well, like us from below with the blood falling on the camera. So good. I recommend that the alderman find a managing partner before he commits his money, I recommended he think of you, Louis. Very kind of you, Mr. Anderson, sir. I said you'd do it for 10%. <laughs> all respects, Mr. Anderson. Posing 10% for all the work? 15? Yeah, was... <laughs> there's capital investment and there's labor. Oh, no. These men look down on you. I have to say, I find it appalling how men like yourself are treated in this country of yours. Dude, what is this? 10%. 15%. Yeah, super disrespectful. Do you not know your value? Can you freeze time? What is this? Looks cool. I don't like the way their eyes look. It's terrifying. He wouldn't tell me how he did it. His trick to make the world stop. You started hanging out. He was in love with my city and wanted to know everything he could about right, it. Right, with your city. Definitely not with you. Updated his wardrobe to the fashion trends of the season. <laughs> They're so cute. And it's a cold blood butter, but he looks very sweet. I was being hunted. And I was completely unaware it was happening. Are we sure you're being hunted and not pursued? It takes in men like Poe. It's not some crazy person's house like How'd that work last time, huh? You come out worse than before. I'm not worse so much. Worry about your own life. Worry about what you're gonna wear in London, Paris, Florence. 
Oh, Are y'all gonna be a steerage out of New York? Oh no. To get to Europe. Tickets. Oh, he's so nice. I Ooh. can't thank you enough, Mama Dulac. I've never been east of Alabama, and now I'm going to see oh, the pyramid. Damn. He's here for dinner. Oh, we got Louis to an opera. You don't talk about some blind princess. Didn't know she was a princess. Stomach got grumbly left halfway through. And what exactly is the nature of your relationship with my brother, Monsieur Leon Cool? Hall is on to them. <laughs> the birds asked me to ask you. I wasn't being rude. Okay. Oh, that's good, yawn. <laughs> Are you one with Christ, Mr. Leon? How about you shut your damn mouth? Uh, that's all right, Louis, madame. The, the birds speak for him. <laughs> I came to know Christ in a monastery. I wanted to be a priest. Came to memorize both the testaments, the writings of Assisi. I'm so curious how old he is. My father, a vulgar man, did not think much of this education. And so he and my brothers conspired to pull me out. Lock me away. Like a princess? Where between beatings, starvations, and the failure of Christ to intercede, the beatings and starvations, I slowly forgot. Jeez, poor man. To answer your boring question, there is an ocean between Christ and myself. Stop. Just because cela satisfera, was en porché dans la gorge de votre esprit. Don't do that shit. What did he do to him? I am cursed with my father's temper at times. The rudeness is all mine. It's not the birds this time, it was all him. Jane, I got shame. The lie you told about leaving the opera house early. You were near weeping when the curtain fell. Why hide that from your family? Don't everybody need to know what I do? Dishonesty breeds dishonesty. You don't want to look weak in front of them? I bought you a gift. A oh, gift. no. Is it your vampire venom? A flower. Oh. Is that Lily? Oh, right, a flower. Her name is Lily. <laughs> it only took me like two minutes to get. I believe that is for the lips, Miss. Jesus Christ. A pair of misfit beauties. I can see why you both run to the other. He is so into Louis. You and me usually just talk. And why is that, Louis? What kind of a man wastes his waste with words? Gay one, maybe? Perhaps? You like to watch? I've been watching you for some time now, Louis. Oh, that's so creepy. Do what? Get my head like that. Such a pretty head. Holy shit. This is definitely not what I was expecting. He's not gonna eat her, right? They're just gonna have a nice little threesome. Oh god. Oh no. <clears throat> right, as if you weren't enjoying that. Don't make me on. Oh no. Oh, she's toast, right? Oh no, she actually just went to sleep. Okay, I think we're safe. Oh my god, I didn't expect them to kiss! I thought I was just reading too much into things. Oh shoot. Is this the moment he's turning him? They're flying! The vampire power are they just dead into each other that they can just do that when they are together what a shot this is so crazy i did not consider myself a homosexual man at the time i do now though obviously i've come to embrace my sexuality i'm so proud of him of course you know that we met at a gay bar didn't we daniel it was a good place to score i did what i had to no way he had taken what he called un petit a little drink. A little drink. It takes an enormous amount of restraint for us. The little drink. Oh For shit. a human. His blood is able to heal. It was unsettling. But for the feelings of intimacy, it awoke within me. Holy shit. I had never allowed myself to feel emotionally close to anyone, much less a man. I had no... A sad life. I vowed never to return again. What? Just Why? Turn my attentions back to life as it was before. Why would you do that? Why not be happy? <laughs> Why can't he be happy for his sister? <laughs> oh, let's go, Paul. <laughs> I think you should get married next. Do we now? I don't think he can. Look to the person he wants to. You still doing business with that man, Lestat? He no, sure is. Well, out. not right now, but he will again. He's here to take souls. He told me so. 
He spoke to me without moving his lips. Oh, he shit. saturates his all. Has he not put it together after getting bitten? You think Levy loves her enough? You know, Grace needs a lot of love. I do. You think he's giving her everything he's got inside him? Mm -hmm. I love you, Louis. I love you too, bro. Oh, okay. Uh, is he... No, right? Paul. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh! Why did he do that? That was the last sunrise I ever saw. Perhaps the kindest thing the dark gift has given. Oh, my God. That is so sad. I've seen death over and over and over and over again. It's boring. That'll make a great blurb. The diagnosis. <laughs> it's so sassy. I'm gonna die. They're gonna die, but not the vampire. The vampire is bored. The human was destroyed. Utterly destroyed. Do they change after they become vampires? You must have said something to him, Louis. You must have said something to him to make him do that to himself. Okay, cool. Thanks, Mom. That's lovely. You always had to have the last word, didn't you, Louis? You always had to take him down a peg. Oh, no. Jesus Christ, Mom. You don't get past the gates if and you kill yourself. Don't you know that? I am sure that's not how that works. Paul's in hell because of you. Bitch, die. How dare you? How fucking dare you? I don't know, because like he killed himself after he knew that the sister was going to be okay and that she was going to be happy. He left knowing his family was going to be at peace. Or did Lestat actually do something to him? Don't take kindly to it's being my brother's avoided. Funeral. Believe me when I tell you, your brother longed for that flagstone. What'd you say to me? Yeah, I got it, boy. Shit. He would not let me come to me. Oh, damn. Walk you home, Mama? No. Thank you. Love you. Do you mind? Yeah, woman, good job. You didn't just lose one son, you lost two. I hope you're happy, because that makes any sense. Didn't mean nothing by it. Well, she did she not. just needs to put it somewhere. Don't let it inside. Then you're gonna put it on your other son. See you back at the wake? <laughs> Me. So he's getting turned tonight, right? So he'll go back to his family after he becomes a vampire. Me, Miss Lou. Miss Lily died, Mr. Dulac. Two weeks ago. Wait, what? Said she contracted the fevers that's been going around. Blood no went way. and dried up inside her. Yum. Shit, he did kill Lily. <laughs> Oh god, you're gonna get this full priest kill too, aren't you? I take daughters with no homes and I, I put them out on the street and I lie to myself saying I, I'm giving them roof and food and dollar bills in their pocket but I look in the mirror, I know what I am. The big man in the big house stuffing cotton in my ears so I can't hear the cry. And Lord, I drag my family into this mess with me. Oh, Jesus Christ. And rather than fix it like a man should, Lord, I run like a coward. I run to the bottle, I run to the grift. I mean, I get running away, but you can still fix it now. I lay down with the devil, and he has roots in me. All his spindly roots in me. He was gonna do that either way, I think. And his words, please help me! Oh, no, 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 I think he's here. I wanna die. Oh god, is he burning the place up? I know man, that poor man, he was so nice! Shit! Oh no, you, 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 I don't like the way he looks! Oh, that's not gonna do nothing to him. Do you think God heard you, Louis? In that tawdry box! Do you not see how unworthy he is? How can you humiliate yourself like this? Let him live, man! I was finally talking about his feelings. It's a good thing. You bring a death to town. I give death to those deserving. How did she deserve it? I can't give you death. Oh, hey man, run! Oh, I'm sorry. It's no laughing matter, but that was a little bit comical. <laughs> oh, the slow motion is so good. Like everything is in slow motion, but he's walking at like a normal speed. 
Okay, so he can control things with his mind. Not just like people, but objects too. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the fuck did I just watch? This primitive country has been too clean. It has shackled you in permanent exile. I need therapy. What rage you must feel as you choke in your sorrow. Oh no. The first time I laid eyes on you. Your beautiful face. I saw that sorrow. Sure, that's why he chose him. I can take away that sorrow, Louis. You too can become a monster. I can give you that death you begged your feeble, blind, degenerate, non-existent god for. But I can do it. Thanks. Love to have that. I can swap this life of shame. Swap it out for a dark gift and a power you can't begin to imagine. Sounds fun. You just have to ask me for it. At least he's asking for consent. That's something. And say yes. Or is it an actual vampire thing here? Like a vampire lore thing? <laughs> We're dropping the album in the first episode. All right. I send my love to you. And you send it back around to me in this circle. It is difficult to explain how his words disarmed me. How efficiently succinct and impenetrable his argument was. I mean Maybe he's just a good manipulator? And I completely forgot myself and the barbaric scene that surrounded me. Shit, he did say yes. For the first time in my life, I was seen. Be my love. Oh, honey, no. But yeah, I wonder if you actually have to say yes to become a vampire in this world. For all eternity. Oh, Louis. A guy and then wasted the other one like that was a perfectly good meal damn oh shit is turning immediately look how pale he's getting Ooh. okay yeah he has to feed on him that's kind of interesting though because before then he was bitten and then he put his blood on the wound but that just healed him but drinking it turns you actually there came a pounding of another drop as if another giant were coming behind him to draw him and then the other draw oh. oh. i opened my eyes and you could finally see and it was then that i realized the drum was my heart oh did it just stop and the other drum had been his it's very romantic. The end. The end. Well, I don't think it is. Oh, that makes more sense. I was like, there are quite a few more episodes left, and the season two is coming at some point as well. Holy shit, he cries blood now. Sam, that's crazy. Well, that was not what I was expecting for this show. Oh my god this was so crazy i really really enjoyed this i cannot wait to see what's gonna happen next because you know he's already a vampire so i'm really, really curious will he go home will he hurt his family will he stay the same like will he have the same personality or will he get more monster like now that he's a vampire will we get to see him discover his abilities I just have so many questions and I'm just so curious to see how this show will develop because I could not tell you what's gonna happen next. But yeah, this is quite intense and I do already like the characters. I'm excited to learn maybe more about Lestat as well. Like I would love to hear his story and how he became a vampire and I'm just very excited to see them be vampires together and how it will end as well. Like will this end in tragedy or is Lestat still out there in 2021 somewhere, you know, or 2022? Yeah, no, this came out last year. So 2022, is he still out there? And could we see this show transitioning to the present? Or will this all take place in a flashback? And yeah, I've just... Ah, I really enjoyed it. I had such a good time. So yeah, I'm very excited for the next episode. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a huge, huge shout goes out to all my Patreons for supporting me. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I really appreciate every single one of you. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I tried so hard, but all these scars, they cut so deep, I bleed. I 